Oh, my baby. You made it home. Bethany isn't with you. No. Is she coming back? I don't know. So the champion's sister was a Grey Warden. Yes, but that's not the connection you're looking for. Isn't it? The involvement of the Grey Wardens makes perfect sense. And the champion's companions, Meryl, Aveline, Isabella, that Warden Anders. Don't remind me. I introduced them. We thought they all came from Ferelden together, but now it makes sense. Motive and opportunity. It's still not what you think. Then I need to hear more. Unless you've already decided. I can always go if you don't need me anymore. Tell me what came next. The treasure we found in the deep roads made us a fortune. The champion moved up in the world. Literally. Bought a mansion in Hightown. Everyone knew who she was now. Even the Viscount was taking notice. The Grey Wardens left Kirkwall. It was months before we learned Bethany survived. Three years later, the Kunari still hadn't left. The Kunari insisted they were waiting for their ship. But some of us knew better. The compound was not meant to be permanent. There are concerns the Kunari influence is no longer contained. Was it ever? Kirkwall has tension enough between Templar and Mage. But these Kunari, they sit like gargoyles waiting for Maker knows what and everyone goes mad around them. Nearly four years I've stood between fanatics. And now, this. Don't keep us in suspense. Leave us. Meredith at my throat, Orsino at my heels, and a city scared of heretical giants. Balance has held because the Conari ask for nothing. Even the space in Lowtown was a gift to contain them. But now, the Arishok has requested you. By name. What did you do? I got his attention a couple of times. I guess I impressed him, but that was years ago. It makes no sense. And it doesn't matter. I just need them quiet. I remember how you helped my son. It seems you are meant to have influence above your station. Speak to the Arishok. Give him what he needs to keep the peace. Can you do that for Kirkwall, Sarah Hawk? I've seen hate for them, but I haven't heard anything major in years. Zealots are bravest where their lies can't be argued, behind closed doors. Chantry leaders see Konari beliefs as a challenge, not an attack. But the message gets muddled among casual adherents. I'm certainly not equipped to argue the fine points of faith. Have the years been kind to Seamus? He is his own man. But your actions tempered him somewhat. He's not so angry at the world. I thank you for that. 
I may not agree with him on many things, but uh, I am proud of what he is becoming. The Canari usually arrive as conquerors. Odd that this has gone on so long. Very, and I have no interest in antagonizing them. That is partially why I suffer being a messenger today. A treaty exists, and it has been honored. Although... Uh, you have doubts? They claim they're waiting for a second ship. But it has been three years. They want something else. Sounds like you'd be better off without this headache. They will not leave, and we don't have the resources to force the issue. At least, not in a way that would leave the city intact. If they had come to conquer, I suspect they would have done so. Any idea what I can expect? None. Honestly, I don't think I've heard two direct words from the Arishok. Other than his rather deliberate phrasing of... Begone. If you think he's asking me to notify you of this is strange... Well, you would be right. Is this a paid position? I'm somewhat in demand. You've served yourself, built a fortune. I give you that. But if you, and only you, cannot calm this situation, I fear the only reliable investment will be in swords and armor. Serve your city, and then we will talk about what you are due. The Arishok is waiting. Make... what a mess. Okay. We have just gone and went through a three-year time skip. And uh, a lot of things have changed. I mean, this basic layout of the city and all that kind of crap hasn't, but for the most part, um, the lives of our characters has. Oh shit, it's the wrong direction. I want to leave. Let's go to our new mansion just to check that place out. Damn it, missed. <laughs> the money that we got, that we found in the deep roads, has gone... Uh, Stretches pretty frickin' far, as you'll see. Now, hold on. Oh, there you are. I've been looking everywhere for you, Messiah. If only you humans didn't all look the same. I was called to the keep on important business, Bowden. Yes. I was hoping to catch you before you arrived. I came to deliver this to you, the last of the proceeds from all that treasure you found in the deep roads. It seems your friend Varric found a buyer after all, yes? Quite well done. I can put this to good use. Of course. Always happy to help. Uh, before I go, may I simply say how grateful I am that you've allowed my boy to stay in your home. I said I would repay you for saving Sandal's life, and I shall serve you faithfully. It is good to know he is safe. I didn't ask you to be my manservant, Bowden. But I owe you a debt, and after what happened in the Deep Roads, I have no other way to repay you. I'll leave you to your adventures. Your mother asks that you return to the mansion when you have a chance. And we got our 50 gold back. <laughs> and um, how much do we have? We have 94 right now. Now, that, even though we... Storyline-wise, we made a freaking fortune. But um, it hasn't really had an enormous effect on our uh, character here. We're not, we don't have a shit ton of money. Not that you end up buying a whole lot of things in this game, so... After a certain point, you pretty much have enough money to make it through the rest of the game. You're not going to be hitting up a lot of shops. Most of the um, equipment that you're going to end up using is stuff that you looted off of bodies or found in treasure chests or that kind of thing. So, money isn't really all that important. But here's our new home.
You've settled in nicely. It's been hard work to get here. Indeed. Still, more coin never hurts, right? Say, if someone wanted to pass some work your way... I'm listening, Aveline. What's the trouble? A thorn in my side, inventing trouble and scaring people. A Templar, Emmerich. You don't know him, but he knows you. He wants your help, and some sort of official sanction. Official sanction? For his... investigation. He's convinced that every random murder in the past few years is connected, and he won't be quiet. You don't think it's worth investigating? I have. He even convinced one of my lieutenants to raid the Dupuis mansion. Nothing there. You wouldn't believe how much ass I had to kiss after that, bloody hobbyist constable. Why can't he spend his declining years building a boat or something? It seems like it should be easy to prove if there are bodies. Kirkwall isn't the safest place. That doesn't mean everything terrible is related. There's no sense to that. Can't be. Muzzle the geezer. Got it. I would never say that. But if it leads somewhere genuine, I'll pick it up on your word. If he shuts up, that's good too. He's in the gallows. Thanks, Hawk. I appreciate it. Okay, our new home isn't really any different than the old one. It's just a little bit bigger and nicer looking. You have your bedroom back here, and, uh... Nothing really to do in there. Oh, stuff. Finery, yes. Over here you have your mail. You have uh, your room over here that has the tokens for uh, the DLC content. Oh, wait, it's up here. I actually kind of don't even like this area as much as I like Gamlin's house because it's bigger and it takes longer to get around. <laughs> it's not practical in any way. Damn, look at all that. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode here, so uh, thanks for watching, and... Uh, oh, shit, uh... Enchant some shit. Enchant some stuff.